Hi everyone, and welcome back to Star by Esther. Um, oh, you can't see me? Hi! <laughs> I've got a little bit carried away with my wrapping. Well, let me just tidy this up. <laughs> Sorry. Let's get on with my next video, which Christian mentioned in the last one. Um, my sparkly sequin baubles. Now that I've tidied up, let's start with my tutorial on how to make my beautiful sequin baubles for your tree. So you'll need styrofoam balls. Or you could do other shapes as well. I haven't tried yet, but um, I'm thinking of maybe next year uh, trying something new. Um, but yeah, easiest one is styrofoam balls, any size. Um, sequins. So depending on what colour you want, you can do rainbow, you can do a theme. So my theme is pink and white. Um, so all my sequins are pink and white. And you can get a variety of different sequins. So, um, you know, you can get the packets filled with all different sizes, different shapes. Um, you can get the ones that are specific sizes, um, they're a little bit more expensive, they're um, a little bit better quality. Um, you also need um, beads, so I like the glass beads. Um, you can get them at any craft stores. Uh, preferably the glass beads are better because they don't break. Um, plastic ones I find they break. Other than that you also need pins. So I just use standard like dressmaker pins like a packet of pins from like Lynn Craft or Spotlight. Um, the other day Esther found some sequin pins at a craft store so you can actually get sequin pins which are a little bit shorter um, than a regular pin which would be good for like the small ones because I do find that sometimes I have a little bit of difficulty with the smaller ones with the longer um, pins in there but these are perfectly fine for the large baubles and you will also need some cord string and um, you can use any particular colour. I've got like this kind of iridescent one to go with my theme. But you can do many different things as well. Like you can do different styles. So I used the dressmaker's pins with the pearls. So you can get a different effect for your baubles. Um, these ones are extremely expensive. So um yeah, they're special. So, let's begin. Okay, so what you do, um, to make it easier, I put the beads into like a little jar um, or a little plate so it's easy for you to like um, pick them up with the needle. With the string, what you do is you cut a length of what would be good to hang the bobble. Depending on how many you make, I would cut them all the same length so you have continuity. So what you do is you tie the string trim off the edges and then what I do is I take a pin get a 
speed. Get a sequin. So the bead stops the sequin going through the pin. So what I do is I take that pin and I poke it through the knot so that it's nice and secure. And then um, on most of the um, styrofoam balls, there's a, a line. And what I do is I just pierce it straight down the middle. You push it in so it's nice and secure. And then from there, what I do is I follow the line around the ball. Um, just with the sequence. So what you do is you just do exactly the same. You take a pin, a bead, a sequin. Now what I do is I, I, I kind of place it so that it's overlapped. And so what I do is I kind of guide it a little bit to see where it is. So I like it a little bit overlapped so that there's no styrofoam showing. So what you'll find is it is very tedious and it takes quite a long time. So I find, um, I find if you just sit in front of the television, watch some Netflix, watch some of your favorite shows, maybe a movie, um, I usually <laughs> average one a night and um, you'll find that you should probably start this year for next year. <laughs> now, it's going to take me a long time to get around. So what I'm going to show you is when you do the next row um, of, so once you've gone around, all the way around, um, I'll show you what you do the next row. So exactly the same, get, get a needle, get a bead, take a sequin, and you just pop it in the gap. So like in between. So like I said, how we don't wanna see any of the white. If we do that, it, it definitely helps with covering all the white. Or if you wanna do something different, you can do different sequins. So like you can make patterns. So I, I, I did a pattern, but it was the same color. But I did, um, I did a big sequins and little sequins. So um, there's many different, like there's no set way of actually doing this, you know. Um, it's really up to your imagination and what you want. So you just continue that along exactly the same and then when you go to the next one you do that as well so it's it's just like it's kind of like a brick it's like a brick pattern like like you're laying bricks a little bit see so it just goes along there until you get to the end where you'll have one sequin so like these ones, I'll show you a few. So I've got this gigantic one that I did. This, <laughs> I started this last year and I only finished it about a couple of days ago. It doesn't necessarily take you that long. It's just that I never got around to finishing it. 
um, I showed this one before, but this one's got the pearls. You can see it's, uh, I've got two sets of sequins on this one. So I've got the large white sequin and I've got an iridescent smaller sequin on here. So it gives that extra little bit of definition and they just look so cute. Um, here's one I did with pink beads. So I did the white iridescent sequins and then the pink beads. So yeah, like I said, it's all up to you. Like. So like and subscribe um, to Star by Esther. Uh, this is my last Christmas video since Christmas is nearly over. But I find Christmas can be any time of the year. Um, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, you can catch me on my social media, Lucky Fellow on Instagram. And if you've made any bobbles of your own, let me see. Um, I'd love that, you know, it's amazing. So, um, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Lots of love, Bun Girl. Happy Bun Miss! But I'll show them close up so that they'll see, like when I'm like, what we'll when do, it's huh? down here. So talk about what you'll need and say it now, and then I'll do little videos of each little thing, and it'll look really cool. That makes sense, doesn't it? It does, but I've got to do it. You just, honey, when you, the people like seeing you, you're the cute one. So say, so you'll need. So you'll need. So you'll need. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. Shut the fuck up so that I can do my video. Such a bloody annoying shit.